Hello everyone, my name is Greg Builds, and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we're going to create an enormous mansion. Now this mansion is a massive structure, and I would suggest breaking this build down into a couple of build sessions, or even have a friend help you with this project. This mansion has a stunning rooftop pool, as well as wraparound decks. Then on the inside, this house is equally as stunning. It has an entrance room right in the front. Then to the left we have a game room. And this game room has a pool table, along with a couch in the other corner. Then beyond that is the laundry room. And this laundry room has wash sinks, ironing boards, and overhead lighting. Then we have a workshop on the other side of the house. Then back out in the main room we have the kitchen. Then upstairs we have a bathroom to the right. Then we have a very large bedroom in the back. And then we have a smaller one next to it. Then over here we have access to the wraparound outdoor decks. Then we also have access to the decks from the back side of the house. Then we have a smaller bedroom over here. And there's even another bedroom on this side. And one very large bedroom in the back. Now this build is broken down into 11 steps, and without further ado, let's start the build. Also, here's a quick little side note. This modern mansion is roughly 34 by 24 blocks wide, and it is 9 blocks tall. Now here's a complete list of the materials you'll need to build this house. Step 1. First is make the walls to the left side of the house. We'll need 288 oak planks for this step. Make a row 6 planks wide. Then make the wall 12 blocks deep. Then we can connect back around. Next we can raise the walls to a total height of 9 blocks tall. Step 2. Next is create two cobblestone towers. We'll need 288 cobblestone blocks for this step. At the side of the oak plank, make a row that is 6 blocks wide. Then extend the side out so that is a total of 4 blocks long. And it will be 3 blocks past the oak planks. Then we can raise the walls to a total height of 9 blocks tall. And this will be the same height as the oak planks. Then let's create a similar tower on the back side. Extend a 6 wide cobblestone wall. Then make the side a total of 4 blocks wide. Then we can raise the walls to a total height of 9 blocks tall. Step 3. Next let's add the center oak rectangle. 
This step will require 504 oak planks. At the side of the cobblestone wall, place an oak plank. Then add 3 more oak planks. Then make the front a total width of 6 blocks wide. Then we can extend the row all the way to the back. Then once you are flush with the back cobblestone wall, add 3 additional oak planks. Then make the back 6 planks wide. Then connect back to the front. Then we can raise the walls to a total height of 9 blocks tall. Step 4. Next let's add in 2 more cobblestone towers. We will need 288 cobblestone blocks. Now these cobblestone towers are the same as the previous ones, however instead of extending them past the front by 3 blocks, we will actually tuck them back. At the side of the oak plank, count back to the 4th space. Then place an oak plank on the 4th space. And this will leave 3 blocks of space in the front. Then add 3 more cobblestone blocks behind that, and it will be 4 blocks wide. Then make the back 6 blocks wide. Then we can raise the walls to a total height of 9 blocks tall. Then we can work on the back tower. To refresh, move back to the fourth space. Then make the rectangle six blocks wide. And connect back around. Then we can raise the walls to a total height of nine blocks tall. Step 5. Next we're going to make the last wall sections. We'll need 288 oak planks for this step. At the side of the cobblestone wall, extend across 6 blocks. Then extend back to line up with the ones at the start of the inside of the cobblestone wall. Then connect back around. Then 
and we can raise this one to a total height of nine blocks tall as well. Step 6. Next let's install the windows and doors. We'll need 64 glass panes, 60 glass blocks, and 24 oak doors. At the left side of the house, move over and up a space, then remove a 4 wide by 2 tall opening. Then from the bottom we can move up 6 spaces, and over 1, then make a 4 wide by 2 tall opening. Then we can make two more openings on each of the front towers and each of the back side of the towers on each wall. Starting at the left side of the house, remove two extra oak planks from the center of the bottom row. Then add two oak doors. Then fill with glass blocks. Then up top we can add two oak doors in the center. And add glass blocks on the side. Next for the cobblestone tower, we can fill in both sections with glass panes. Then we can remove two oak planks of the center bottom row, add two doors, and wrap glass blocks around the doors. Then add two doors up top, and glass blocks on the side. Then fill in the cobblestone towers with glass panes. Then we can follow this pattern all the way around the front and the back side of the house. To refresh, at the oak tower sections, remove two center planks, then add oak doors, as well as glass blocks that wrap around the doors, doors up top, and glass blocks up here. Then follow this pattern around the back side of the house.
Step 7. Next is to install the first and second level floor. We'll need 552 oak planks and 48 cobblestone blocks. First inside the house we can make some openings for the interior walls. And this will make the floor layout a little bit more open. Move over to the seventh space. And then we can remove a total of 10 blocks over. Then we can remove the blocks up to the top. However, leave two rows up top. Then we can repeat on the other side. Move over to the seventh space. Remove this plank, then remove 9 more blocks, so there's a 10 wide road that is removed. Then we can clear the blocks up top. Then leave 2 blocks up here. Then we can remove the planks in between. Then let's replace the grass with oak planks. Then once completed, place oak planks of the fourth plank up. Next, once the center of the house is filled, we can work on the side rooms. Replace the grass with oak planks. Then add in oak doors on the side. Then repeat on the other side of the house. Replace the grass with planks. Then add oak doors on the sides. Next we can work on the cobblestone tower floors. Once inside the house, make a 4 wide by 3 tall opening. Then we can replace the grass with cobblestone. Then repeat for each tower. Step 8. Next is to install the stairway, ladders, and more floors. 
we'll need 28 oak stairs, 44 cobblestone blocks, 80 oak planks, and 32 ladder sections. First, let's install the stairway. From the inside of the doorway, move back 11 spaces. Then place a stair on the 11th space. Make the stairs four treads wide. Then we can add upside down stairs on the back side and extend up to the floor above. And make sure to clear out the blocks where needed for the appropriate head clearance. Then up top, we can clear a 4 wide by 3 tall opening inside the cobblestone towers, just as we did in the previous step. Then fill in the floors with cobblestone blocks. And then we can add ladders in the corners. And these ladders can extend above and below. Then let's repeat for each cobblestone tower. To refresh, remove a 4 wide by 3 tall opening. Then fill in the floor with cobblestone blocks. Then add in the ladders above and below. And these ladders will help provide access to the roof and the rooftop pool. Then we can clear an area on the side oak wall. Then we can extend the floors across. Then let's repeat on the other side. Make a four wide by three tall opening. Then extend the oak floors across. Step 9. Next, let's work on the roof as well as the rooftop pool. We'll need 316 white glass blocks and 4 trapdoors. First, let's start by adding glass blocks one space down. Then fill across to the other side. Next, we can fill in the cobblestone towers with white glass blocks and start these one space down. Then we can add a trap door above the ladder. Then we can fill in the center here with white glass blocks. And these will be one space down as well. Then repeat for the tower. And make sure to add a trap door above the ladder. Then we can follow this pattern across the entire roof line.
and then once completed, we can fill in the center with water, and this will be for the rooftop pool. Step 10. Next, let's work on the wraparound deck. We'll need 352 spruce slabs, 120 oak fence posts, and 112 spruce stairs. First, let's place two slabs at the fifth space up. Then wrap the slabs two wide all the way around the mansion. Next we can add an extra slab in each of the inner corners, and we can do this on the front and the back side of the house. Next let's add oak fence posts on top of the slabs, and wrap this around to the other side. Then we can wrap upside down stairs at the top block all the way around the house. and then on top of the upside down spruce stairs, we can add a layer of spruce slabs on top and wrap these slabs all the way around the top of the house. Step 11, lastly is the interior. And I'll leave this completely up to you. However, I'll quickly show you how I did mine. Right inside we have a little entrance area. Then to the left we have a game room with a pool table. Then beyond that is a laundry room with wash sinks, ironing boards, and overhead lighting. Then we have a workshop on the other side of the house. And then back out here we have the kitchen. Then upstairs we have a bathroom to the right. Then we have one very large bedroom in the back and we have a smaller one next to it. Then over here we have access to the wraparound outdoor decks. Then we have access to the back deck as well. Then we have a smaller bedroom on the side, as well as one on the opposite corner. And then back here is another large bedroom. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a like and leave a comment on what you think I should build next, as there's been many wonderful ideas and I have many more builds lined up for you guys and I can't wait to show you what's next. Also, before we go, make sure to subscribe because I create build tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later guys. Want more build tutorials? I have many other playlists that might interest you in my channel. Make sure to check them out.